It's a car brand like no other, founded by an enigmatic genius slash walking meme slash real life Benjamin Button. Hello Electra heads, I'm Jack and today we're doing something that surprisingly we have never done before on this channel. We're going to spend a whole video talking about Tesla. Because regardless of how you feel about Tesla, one thing you cannot deny is its influence. I don't think any car brand in the last five years, maybe even 10 years, has had such an impact on the automotive landscape. So with that in mind, here are five examples of Tesla innovations, be they entire cars or specific features that changed the game. And stick around till the end of the video for two future Tesla innovations that just might do the same. Frankly, I could make an entire video on just how important the Model S was, and maybe I will one day, but for now I'll give you the short version. To understand just how important the Tesla Model S was for EV, all you need to do is have a look at some of the other electric family cars that were available around the time that it was released. There was the Nissan Leaf, the Mitsubishi i-Meve, the Peugeot Ion, which actually was just a Mitsubishi iMeve and the Citroen C0 which actually no that was a that was an iMeve too wasn't it these cars were fairly undesirable very expensive and had very poor range but if you wanted an electric car in early 2012 that was what you got and then out of nowhere by which i mean after teasing it for like 3 years but out of nowhere Tesla comes out with the Model S and changes everything. Suddenly, here was a luxurious, stylish EV with up to 300 miles of range, the performance of a supercar, and the interior of a spaceship. Before first deliveries of the Model S began in mid-2012, Tesla had already amassed 12,000 reservations for an electric car. To give you an idea how crazy that is, the previous year, the Mitsubishi i meve set a record when it became the first electric car to sell 10,000 units. The Tesla had 12,000 reservations Reservations. It was the world's most successful electric car before it had left the factory. The impact the Model S had on the automotive landscape cannot be understated. It was a car so ahead of its time that eight years later, it's still one of the best electric cars that you can buy. Tesla's ability to alter, adjust, and improve their cars via downloadable updates still freaks me out a little bit. I also think it's a huge part of what makes Tesla cars feel so revolutionary and of what makes owning one so exciting. These updates can be small things like a slight tweak to the user interface or bigger things like and I'm not joking, making the brakes work better. True story, back in 2018 when the Model 3 was first released in America, one reviewer criticized its poor brake performance, saying it was actually downright dangerous. Within a month, Tesla had sent out an update that improved the Model 3's braking distance by as much as 20 feet. That's mad. Some people, myself included, do suspect that Tesla is sometimes guilty of leaning a bit too hard on its over-the-air updates. For example, I don't know, uh, sending a car out with brakes that don't work properly, knowing that they can fix them later. But regardless of how they're using it, the fact remains that over-the-air updates are a truly game-changing feature, and I have no idea why other brands aren't scrambling to get something similar. Tesla by no means invented self-driving, but they were among the first to deploy it, and they definitely made it famous. For me personally, it was this feature, along with over-the-air updates, that shaped this image in my mind of Tesla being the car brand of the future during those early days of the Model S. I've loved cars my entire life, and my first experience of Tesla Autopilot is possibly the most amazed I've ever been by a car. It was 2015, I was in California, the Tesla in question belonged to an Uber driver. When I first got in, he wasn't very chatty, he didn't say much. Then we get out onto the highway, and he turns to me and goes, you wanna see some Star Wars shit. Presses a button, crosses his legs, puts his hand back and goes, huh? I'm not sure if that's great Uber driver protocol, but I mean, 10 out of 10 for showmanship. Now, like I said, Tesla didn't invent self-driving, but they sure are synonymous with it. It was a game changer when it first appeared on the Model S all those years ago, and thanks to a series of updates, it remains one of the very best systems that you can buy right now. It's weird to think that the Model S has only been with us for a couple of years because what it has achieved in that time is 
staggering. Just in 2019, Tesla sold 300,000 of them, and it's believed that total sales have already surpassed half a million. That would make it the most successful electric car ever made, surpassing the Nissan Leaf, which had a seven-year head start. But perhaps most significant is the fact that in many parts of the world, the Model 3 is outselling the very best petrol-powered saloon cars, like the BMW 3 Series and Mercedes C-Class. These are cars that had been dominating their segment for decades decades before the Tesla Model 3 came along. The significance of the Model 3 for me is that it represents the nearing end of the early adopter phase of electric cars. I think a lot of people who are buying Model 3s aren't buying them because they're electric. They are buying them simply because out of all the cars they could afford, it was the one they wanted the most regardless of its powertrain. It is quite simply the most successful electric car ever made and if you're not sure why it has a place on this list, I, I can't help you. Okay, I've got one more current one and then I'm going to talk about a couple of future innovations that I've got my eye on. Okay, so for me, Century Mode is another one of those Tesla innovations, much like the big touchscreen interior display that you look at and you just go, every car is going to have that in a few years time. Like most modern cars, Teslas are absolutely covered in cameras. And using Sentry Mode, these cameras can activate when someone comes too near your car while it's parked up and display a little message on the screen saying, hey, I'm in Sentry Mode. If someone tries to break a window or yank the door open or attacks the car in any way, it will begin recording the incident, sound the alarm, and my favorite, blast music full volume. It'll also notify you that something's happening via the app and when you go back to the car you can download the footage onto a little USB stick. Within a month of this feature being deployed there were multiple cases of people turning themselves into police stations because they'd seen footage online of them keying or trying to steal Teslas. It was amazing. Were this feature to become standard on all cars, car theft and vandalism would plummet overnight, which is why I fully expect that it will very quickly. Okay, so here's why I think the Cybertruck could be absolutely massive for the future direction of Tesla. After taking their sweet time, the legacy car brands are starting to get serious about EV. And although Tesla had a huge head start, make no mistake, the Fords and VWs of this world will catch up quickly due to their immense resources. I realize that statement is going to trigger a lot of Tesla fans, but that so does everything. They're too big, they're too rich, they're going to catch up. That's my opinion. If you disagree, come to my house and fight me. Now let's say I'm right. Let's say that in 10 years, Tesla's hardware isn't as good as rival brands. How do they survive? Answer, they get crazy. Tesla is already known as being a car brand that's a bit different and unusual. Now is the time to turn that up to 11. The Cybertruck to me is what all Teslas should have looked like from the beginning. It's a big pointy middle finger to conventional car design. For me, that represents Tesla's core values way better than the Model 3, which just looks like any other car. Now, I do have a couple of reservations about whether the Cybertruck will ever make it to production. I mean, just to give you one example, in Europe, we have something called pedestrian safety laws that dictate you must try to design a car in such a way that when it hits someone, it doesn't cut them clean in half. But I'm sure they'll figure that out. I think Tesla needs to embrace the crazy if it's going to survive. And I think Elon Musk knows that. I think that is the exact reason the Cybertruck prototype exists. And I really hope it's a genuine indicator of the direction of the company. And we finish with another example of Elon Musk being absolutely mad. When I first read about this, I assumed that this was something he'd mentioned on like one of his Twitter sprees. But no, Elon Musk said this to Jay Leno on television, on Jay Leno's garage. So it must be true. Okay, so just to clarify for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, Elon Musk recently claimed that the new Tesla Roadster Mark II would be available with cold gas thrusters. Allegedly, this thruster will be hidden behind the rear number plate and at the push of a button, the number plate drops down and the thruster blasts a jet of compressed air, giving the car a boost of extra acceleration. <laughs> to quote my Uber driver in California, that is some Star Wars shit. I have so many questions about this, but I guess my main two are what happens if a child that's sort of yay high is stood behind your car when you deploy the thruster and how fast does it go? It sounds so completely wild and fictional that it kind of makes part of me think the Roadster V2 is actually never going to happen. And Elon's like, well, as long as we're not making it, we may as well say some crazy shit. 
But if this is true, if the Tesla Roadster is available with cold gas thrusters, well, it's the craziest car of all time. And on top of that, if those thrusters prove to be genuinely performance enhancing, if they really work, well, that car will transform the supercar landscape forever. Guess we'll just have to see. So there we have it. That was my list of game-changing Tesla innovations. Let me know down in the comments, what did I miss? What should have been on this list that wasn't? Make sure to like and subscribe. We just hit 3,000 subscribers. Yes, let's get to five now. And we'll see you soon.